Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. So let's start. First thing, we need to design the text texture. So let's start with a new composition. I'm going to name mine type texture and I'm going to make it 1080 by 1080. There is no need to worry about the timing or frame rate as this will be a static texture. So we are all good. Just press OK. Now let's just get this text tool. Click in our composition and let's write something. I will write waves, which is very obvious, of course. And then I will go to Effects, Stylize and select Repetile. Then expand it down until the entire composition is filled with text. Now let's go to our timeline, right click and go to New, Solid. Make it black and move it under our text layer. Great. Now let's go to the top menu composition and select save frame as file. Now select where you want to save your file, press render and that's it, our texture is ready. Let's go back to the top menu and go to file, new, max on cinema 4d file. And this will open the cinema 4d light for you. Great, the first thing we want to do here is setting up our document. Let's click on edit render settings and let's change the output to 1080 by 1080. The frame rate is 30 frames per second and close this window. Now let's go to the object tab and select the plane. Then let's go to the plane properties and change the width and height values to 1500 and the width and height segments to 150 so it has a high polygon count. With that done, let's go to the deformer tab. Select the formula deformer and drag it under our plane. And if we press play, we can see the wave ripple animating nicely. And if this is too fast for your taste, you have this expression on the formula object properties which is a mathematical formula that involves trigonometry and arithmetic operations. In summary, this expression calculates a scale sine wave value based on a sum of two variables, u and t. This expression is often used in physics, engineering and computer graphics, especially in waveforms, oscillations or periodic motion contexts. Anyway, if this is too fast, you can just do a slash, then two, and so it divides these calculations by two, making the wave way smaller. Great, now let's make a 3D material. Let's click on a material manager here and click on a little plus icon to create a new material. Let's click twice to open the material editor. Here we will unselect the color and the reflectance channel and let's habilitate the luminance channel. And we go to texture and click on this little triangle and select load image. And let's load the text image we made in After Effects. Cinema 4D will ask you if you want to make a copy of this image and save it in the same place as the project. This is totally up to you. I usually press no so I don't have duplicated images in my hard drive. Now we can close this window and drag and drop this material over our wavy plane. At first glance it doesn't look right, but with a few adjustments this will look much better. We will change the number of tiles in UV on the material attributes and let's make it 10 and 10. And here it is, much better. You can just adjust this number if you wish to have more or less repetitions of your texture. Now, to finish, we are going to the camera icon. Let's make a new camera and click on this little track icon to activate it. With our camera selected, let's change its projection to isometric. And then we go to composition and enable the grid. And using the pan and zoom tools, let's adjust the plane to fill our camera scene perfectly. And this is when the grid comes in handy. Then let's select the plane and go to coordinate. And then on the rotation of H, let's make it 180 degrees. So it faces the right way. And that's pretty much it in Cinema 4D. We can just jump back to After Effects. Now in After Effects, select our Cinema 4D project, drag and drop it like it's hot into the composition and go to the Cineware Effect tab and change the render settings to current. Give it a little preview and that's it. It's ready to render. I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to check my other kinetic typography tutorials and remember to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.